So where are you keeping yourself stuck? Where are you speaking yourself into poverty, into lack, and into pain? Where are you owning what belongs to someone else? And when we start to think about these questions, oh my word. Yes, that word, word. We create with our words. It begins with our thinking, which triggers like that Rolodex in our brain of everything that's happened, those files, everything that's happened. And then we look at it and we go, okay, what can I compare it to? And then our bodies get in on the act as well and tell us how they're feeling, what they're feeling where they're feeling and when they're feeling it. And because we have lost connection with the energy and the spirit within ourselves, we are very poor at translating what the body's saying and what life is bringing forward to us. Now, I have a program called Thinking by Design because when we can bring awareness and mindfulness to life, we can begin to become very aware of what our thoughts are. And very importantly, are they our thoughts? Because we will pick up on other people's thoughts because we have a hook or we have a space for them to land or we have a fear or a doubt around it. And this allows us to draw in other people's thoughts, feelings and emotions. So number one, he has a great tool that I use from a modality called Access Consciousness and from various other people. Whose is this? Return to sender with love and consciousness attached. And oh, just feel the weight come off your shoulders. I always say to uh, people, you know what? Even if it's mine, it'll come back to me with love and consciousness attached because it can be from the past, the future, or concurrent lifetime. Because remember, time is linear. The important thing is to have that awareness because very often we will, we will speak without thinking thinking because we've been thinking things will just come out because it's a program it's some a message that we keep playing to ourselves that we've heard our parents keep repeating that the people around us keep repeating and since I began on my journey this is something I have become very very aware of now remember when we add emotion to it life gets even more interesting because then our bodies interpret that emotion and vice versa and thus we start speaking. The reason this came to mind is I was chatting with somebody who was telling me how everything's gone wrong and they owe all this money and they were really in a state about everything and let me tell you with what they've got going on. I can absolutely understand. The difference is I've learned that when we stay and play there, we are going to carry on playing in that arena of poverty, of lack, and of spiraling down into the ground, rather than spiraling within ourselves and checking out what's happening. Whose is this? Where can we shift it? We lived in a different area and once we moved, I became very much, I was aware of the energy there and of the entire area and I did my best to shift it and move it once I came to understand energy. Well, when we moved, it was just so much easier because where we moved to was, uh, um, if I say a more affluent area, and it wasn't that it was a more affluent area, it was that there was more nature, more feelings of safety. And I became even more aware of the impact that our environmental energy has, as well as the internal energy. Now, a lot of our internal energy comes from our parents, comes from imprints, and comes from experiences that we've had. It also comes from our human wishing to keep us safe, rather than us working with that spark of, of spirit, of divinity within us. And when we begin to become aware of what we are thinking, it changes life in such an amazing and incredible way. My husband the other day got a little bit frustrated because he switched the car on and um, normally his cell phone links to it. So then we have lovely classical music. Well, 
anything but classical music came blasting out and he got really annoyed with it. And I said to him, you do know that if you get annoyed with that player, it won't be able to play. It will be unable to play what is on your cell phone because he's got his audio books and podcasts and all that. Well, three days later, it stopped working. He put a CD in and it stopped working. <laughs> And uh, he remembered back to our conversation. So he actually spoke very nicely to it, cleaned the CD, and all of a sudden it started working on the third attempt. It was just the most magnificent experience. I have had the same thing. When I'm in doom and gloom and saying, oh, I'll never have this, guess what? I'll never have it. Because whether you believe you can and whether you believe you can't, you correct on both counts because you create your reality and you create your vibrational match for that reality and you pull it in, which is one of the reasons we can pull in other people's thoughts and etc. Now, what do we do to shift and change this? Well, I love the switch words together, 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 because what that does is it brings our body, mind and soul together. I also have a lovely uh, exercise that I can't remember where I learned it, where you set your alarm for every 15 minutes and you become aware of what you're thinking. And you do this for eight hours a day for three days and jot down notes about it because people, the people who have done it, and I do it myself periodically, like four or five times a year now, you go, oh, squeak. I don't know that I wish to keep thinking that. I really have no desire to have that in my life. And we are able then to have a deep awareness of it. And my thinking by design course really does work around that. It's uh, allowing, it's giving you tools in order to use it. Another tool is like the other day I was walking along and I have no idea what the reason was. I started thinking about something that happened in the past that was less than positive. And so what I did was I went, uh, 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 three to one change, three to one change, three to one change. Because by the simple act of counting down using the switch word change or the switch word uh, shift, I shift my energy. And then when you click your fingers, it's a pattern interrupt as well as a focus movement. Plus, when you touch your fingers, you reconnect with your heart space rather than your brain. So you could even rub it, but it doesn't have the noise with it. You know, yes, you can have the noise of your hands, but the click is very precise and it catches your attention and it really helps you tremendously. So the message today is become aware of what you are thinking because this will help you to understand what's happening in your life and your body at a much deeper level. It also helps you to create space with rephrasing and reframing your thoughts or refusing that thought and saying no, 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 or saying hello, I'm unavailable to play with you today. I also work on avoiding the word no, unless it's K-N-O-W, and I prefer it to be K-N-O-W-I-N-G, <laughs> because when you have knowing, it's much better because you're working with your intuition, you're working with uh, spirit, whereas when you know, that is more um, experience-based. And very often we ask to do things different. And that is a topic for another day. Looking forward to hearing from you. Remember, have an awareness of your thinking. Check in with your body as to see what is happening. And when you dislike what's happening around you, go inside. Do some meditation. Let me tell you, meditating every day makes such a difference with awareness. And allow yourself to be yourself in so many great ways. Have a beautiful day.